guys, Kat here. And today we have a 25 minute full body dumbbell hit workout. We'll be using dumbbells for every single move today. Now I'm gonna be using a pair of light and heavy dumbbells, but if you only have one type of weight, that's totally fine. Each exercise today is gonna be 50 seconds on with 10 seconds rest. And remember to go at your own pace. And yes, I did get a cupping thing done to me and it is not a tattoo. So I do apologize for not having a workout last week. I needed to recover my upper body. It was a little broken. All right, let's get started. We're all right. Guys, let's get warmed up nice and easy, jumping jacks. We're gonna do one in front and then one to the side. Keep it jumping, keep that core strong. Yay. Nice job. Ready for those dumbbells? Look at them. Just look at them sitting there. Duh. Three, two, one, and let's go ahead and do some forward lunges. So step it forward, sink it down, and then push back up into standing position. Remember to really press through that front heel, okay? And we wanna make sure those knees don't extend over the toes, so none of this, okay? We're elevator, not escalator. Sink straight down, and then come back up, and then sink down. And remember to keep your torso up as well. Woo, keep it lunging. Let's go one more on each side. Last one. All right, go ahead, bounce it out. Rotate those arms forward, big circles. Big, big circles. Nice job. Let's go for three, two, one, and bring it back. If you need to take the bounce out, we're like, cat, yeah, calm down, I'm not there yet. That's totally fine, totally understand. But I'm gonna do it. <laughs> nice job, three, two, one, and crisscross in front. Woo! Keep going, guys. Woo! Almost there. Let's go for three, two, one, and go ahead and shake it out. Let's, let's just get into regular squats. So push that booty back, sink down, and let's just add a little stretch to it, too. So sink that booty down, and then open up that chest, squeeze your back. Sink it down. And squeeze it. Keep it going, guys. Whew. Let's go for three more. Sit down. Squeeze last two. Sit down. Squeeze one more. And whoo. All right, go ahead, bounce it out. We're almost ready to get started. Let's finish off with some skaters. So we're going to side to side. Take that step with your right leg. Bring the left leg back. And then switch. Now, if you can, you're gonna add a hop to it. So, hop with me, my bunnies. Side to side, keep stabilizing. Woo! Remember, you can always hop it, but plant that back foot if you need to, okay? So that's more of the intermediate version. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one more. One, bounce it out, and let's get started. All right guys, 10 seconds. So, we have a back lunge and curl, and we're gonna be alternating our legs. So, grab the heavier weights, get ready, step your left leg back first or right, I don't care. All right, so step it back, and as you sink down, you're adding that curl in. Step it back, and curl. That's it. Sink it down, and curl. If you're not comfortable with back lunges, no big deal. You can stick with front lunges. Whew. Now, if that's too much coordination, sink it down and then add that curl instead of doing it at the same time. I'm going a little bit lighter today with my weights. Um, just to keep myself safe from injury. Keep it going. Sink it down. 10 seconds. Sink it down. Almost there, guys. And last one. All right, cool. Next up, we're going to need one weight. Just the one, go heavy if you want, go light if you want, to up to you. We have 20 high knees. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then press out jacks. One, two, just five, four, five. Back to those high knees. Four, five, six, nine, 10. One, two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine, ten. If you're like, I can't count that fast, just follow along with me. I got you. 
two. Keep going. Five, one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! If you're one or two off, or even five, it doesn't matter. As long as you keep on moving. Go ahead and make this a march instead if you need to next time around if you repeat this workout. All right, so front raises are next. Palms are facing towards the legs. So exhale up, inhale down. Keep your core strong. You don't want to swing it. And we don't want to hyperextend. So keep your breath going. Yay. Yay. <laughs> we love working up our body. Anyone, did anyone watch The Walking Dead? Season finale. Very exciting. I'm excited. Woo, keep going. Don't post any spoilers for anyone in the comments, please. Ten seconds. Woo, almost there. Keep going, keep going. Three, two, one. All right. So, next up. All right, we're going to need light weights. So have those dumbbells, palms facing towards you. You're going to squat down, squat down, pivot on your back leg, and punch. Squat, punch. Keep your core strong. So we're still shaking those shoulders, getting a little movement going. Getting that core, booty, quads. We have a lot, a lot going on right now. Sink and punch. We're already over halfway. Keep going, guys. Sink it. Punch it. Nice job. Whew. Sink down. Punch. Ten seconds. Oh yeah. Last three, two, one. All right. Whew. All right. Now we have prone side raises. So we're going to keep the dumbbells facing the same way as before and rise it to the side. Rise it to the side. Raise it. So again, palms facing towards those quads. Keep your core strong. Whew. This one feels super awkward. Yes. Yes, that is the correct word for this move. Awkward. Keep going. Less than 30 seconds. Oh my goodness. Keep it raising. Now, I'm using fives right now. I still feel it, but use, if you can, if you can, if you're not injured or anything like that, use eights, use tens. Probably not much more than that. Oh, not much weight. So don't be afraid to add weight as long as you keep your form, okay? All right, okay. Good talk. Okay, <laughs> side dumbbell hurdles. So go ahead and set your dumbbells up a little bit wider than hip width. We're gonna do some hurdles. So you're gonna have your knee up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. That's it. If you're afraid of hitting the dumbbells, which is totally understandable, not gonna lie, um, go ahead and go in back of them and do the same movement. Okay? No big deal. Some of us aren't just coordinated quite yet. Keep working at it. Pump those arms. You can always grab your light dumbbells and hold them. Why not? <laughs> Why the heck not? It's all to you how intense you make this workout. People are like, how many calories did I burn? I don't know. Depends how hard you worked. Depends how much you weigh. What your body composition is. All that jazz. So, I'm not gonna answer those questions anymore. All right, go ahead, grab dumbbells, facing the same way as before. Feet close together, squeeze. We are working those shoulders, rear delts. Those are the back of the shoulders. We squeeze, think about, oh, right here, okay? Yes, you will feel it in your back. It's all up to you how much you feel this. Squeeze. 
So before this, we worked the anterior part, which is the front, and the medial with those side raises. And now we're working rear delt. So it's very important to work all heads of the shoulder. 10 seconds. Keep going, guys. Almost there. Yay. Three, two, one. Nice job. Okay. Woo. Wait, we got three switch lunges and then a hammer curl. So you can go, you can use the heavier weights for this if you want to. Sink down to a lunge. One, two, three, hammer curl. Keep it controlled. One, two, three. Now notice how I'm taking my time with these lunges. I'm not going like this. No, you want to sink down all the way. I don't care how many reps you get. Okay? So just make sure you're sinking down, getting the most out of this movement. We're over halfway. Those legs should be burning. Keep going. Almost halfway with the workout, too. That was fast. Three. Curl. Ten seconds. Two. Three. Curl. Last three. Two. One. Ah! All right. Single leg squat into the arms. Ooh. A lot of stability. Stabilize on one leg. Bend that knee. Sink down, chest up, come up, T raise, bring it down. So you do a front raise, and then you bring those arms out to the side. Up, side, back. If you need to, you can tap that um, leg on the ground. Just try to keep most of the weight on that right leg. Yay, woo! <laughs> Shake it out if you're wobbling. I wobble too. I'm not perfect. I don't think you need to be perfect. 10 seconds. I don't even know what perfect is. Wee! Whoop! <laughs> I just did a hold down. And down. Nice job, guys. Okay. So before we go to the other side, one dumbbell squat touchdown. Just, dra just grab one. Feet together. So drop it off. Come up. Pick it up. Come up. Drop it off. Pick it up. That's it. Nothing too crazy. Right? Again, if you don't, whoops, <laughs> I got it, I got fancy with it. If you don't have the coordination for this, try it anyway. Fitness, coordination is part of fitness, is what I was trying to say. So, you gotta practice it to get better at it. It's the only way. Keep going, 10 seconds guys, finish it out. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, guys, 10 seconds. So we're going to go to that single leg squat again with the TRs. Grab your weights. Grab heavier weights if you think you can do it. Stabilize on the left leg. Whoa! All right. So sink down. Oh, my goodness. My balance is off. That's okay. Some days your balance is off and you're like, why? And then your body's like, I don't know. <laughs> TRs and back down. Try not to curl your toes as all the toes uncurl in the room. Um, just press through that heel and then like imagine there are roots just like coming out of that heel and attaching the ground. You're not moving. At least your foot isn't. <laughs> Keep going, sink it down, come up, up, side, back, down, Woo. Okay, so set up your dumbbells in tandem. I'm gonna crank out some burpees. Okay, so we're gonna tuck over them, drop into a burpee, that's it. So, tuck over, burpee, come up. Don't forget to come up. And, woo, oh my gosh, the first time. I'm doing burpees again without pain. What a great day. You don't really appreciate your body until you get injured. So 
Take care of yourself, people. Keep going. Tuck it. I like how I said, don't forget the jump, and I'm forgetting the jump. Whatever. Keep going. <laughs> More tucks. Finish it out. Oh, cat. Whew. Okay. Squat, single leg halo. One weight. One weight or another. <laughs> so squat down. One foot. Halo. Bring it back. Squat. Other foot. Halo. Whew. Squeeze your core. This one. A lot about stability and core work, which is gonna be a little bit tougher after those burpees. Because you're out of breath. At least I hope you are. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> and yeah, duh. Keep going. Squat. Put around. Sink it. Halo. We have a fun one after this. Alright. So, put your dumbbell down. Ninja. I'll show you a modification, but if you can, pop up, grab it, turn. Down, down. If you need to, lightly on the ground, bring your fingertips, bring it up, and turn. Okay? Down, down. It's totally fine. Up, grab it, turn. So much fun. I like this one. Ha! That was sloppy. That's okay. Sink it down. Ha! Turn. Back and down. Right down. Ha! Turn. Back. Down. Ha! Turn. Grab one weight, grab the heavier one. So you're gonna start by swinging, just like a kettlebell, okay? Squeeze your booty, squeeze your core. Now you're gonna work, if you're going to the right, move your left leg, left, right, and then the opposite, okay? Right, left. So you move from the outside foot. If you can't get this down, stick with swings, okay? Still, still getting your bum, still getting your core. You can use a kettlebell if you have one. Keep going. Woo. Nice job, guys. Pop it. Pop it. Woo. Keep going. Pop. Okay. Yay! Way to curtsy. Side leg lift. So it requires a little flexibility. Okay. So face me. Bring your left leg all the way to the side. Sink down. Come up. Raise it. Bring it back down. Sink it down. Come up. Try to stabilize. Raise it. If you want to make it more challenging, rest your left hand on that outer thigh as you raise it. Just make sure when you do that curtsy, you're not facing this way. Keep your chest facing towards me. Sink it down. Up, whoop, up. There we go, okay. <laughs> it happens. Sometimes you just need to reset. Sink it down. Whoa, ooh, my booty. My booty feels it. Okay, drop one weight. We have weighted knee pulls next. You can drop the uh, or you can drop both weights if you need to. Try to skip it out. Knee in. Bring your arms up a little bit. Don't just stay down here, okay? You want to get a nice crunch for that core. Modification. Just walk it out. Okay, again, coordination is not your strong point. It's okay. Do the mod. 
and then work at it. Add a few hops in when you can. Keep going. Roar. Crunch, crunch. Nom, 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 nom. Nom. Keep it working, guys. Almost there. Okay. <sighs> Guess what's next? Curtsy. And then we have two ab moves. We got this. All right. Bring your right leg to the side. Sink it down. Lift. Stabilize. Sink it down. And lift. You guys got this. Easy peasy for you. Sink it down. Only two moves remain. Two days remain. What game is that from? Bonus points if you get it. Huh. Actually starts with three days remain, but actually 48 hours. All right, keep going. Whoo! And ah, bring it up. Sink it down. Okay. Whoo! All right, come on down the ground. We need one weight and kayak it. Okay. Now we're gonna bicycle at the same time. I'll give a modification. You can't get it down. Okay, so you're swooping towards the knee that is in front, or that same side. What you want to avoid is rounding that back too much. If it hurts your lower back, plant your heels and twist. But try to get that nice swoop action going, okay? This is awesome for your core. If you feel ready, try to add a few bicycles in the mix. Keep it swooping. Keep going, guys. Just one more, one more after this. And then we're cooling it down. Whew. Ah. So fun. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Plant your dumbbell right in front of you. We're using it as mainly a marker. A little cheaty, but whatever. All right, bring your arms in back. You have one hip, extend out all the way, crunch, Extend and hover over. Nice little rainbow. You should be on one hip when you do that crunch and hover. Crunch, extend, hover. Crunch, extend, hover. Modification, go ahead and plant the feet in between. Crunch it, bring it back, and then hover, okay? It's totally fine. It's totally fine. I sound like an angry girlfriend. Fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Oh gosh. Red flag. Communication, people. <laughs> Keep going. And hover. Ah, done. Done. Let's shut off timer. And done. All right. We are stretching. Or you can repeat this workout. Or click the I. One of these sides, um, it'll take you to a different workout if you want to keep on going if you're not done yet. All right, if not, pull it down with me, guys. Ooh, we're on the ground. Okay, so go ahead, bottoms of the feet together. Grab, dem feet dough, and pull. Try to keep your spine straight as possible. You are a ruler. You are the ruler of this workout. Congratulations. I'm not very flexible, but I am working. So, that's good. <laughs> and go ahead, bring the knees together, extend out. And then every inhale, you're gonna grow tall. Every exhale, lean forward a little bit more. And I've said that before where I'm like, I'm working on being flexible. And I did for a little bit, but not for a long time. You know, I fell off the bandwagon, just like I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. Um, go ahead, bring it back up. When you set goals for yourself, you don't quite reach them. Wrap the feet around, extend out your right leg, come into that runner's lunge, push, make sure the knee's not the toes. Um, so what I started to do is make smaller goals and have it where I stretch for five minutes a day. And um, also try to incorporate stretches in between my 
lifting sets and stuff like that. So it doesn't take a lot of time, and I'm using my time better. Go ahead, bring your hands down the ground and on that heel. Um, so if you don't have, if you have tried to reach goals but you haven't quite got there, make smaller goals for yourself. Go ahead, bring forward and back. Because those small goals are going to really add up. Um, when I say I stretch for, like, check off, stretch for five minutes, most of the time I start and I'm like, oh, I only have five minutes, but then I go for 10 or maybe 15. Um, but if I can only get that five in, then that's great. So, hands down the ground, go ahead, lean it back. So, make those small goals for yourself. They help, they really add up. You beautiful, beautiful soul. <laughs> All right, All right, bring it back. And let's curl the toes underneath. Push your hips back, straighten out the legs and the hamstrings here. Relax your neck. And let's go ahead, open up those feet as wide as you can. Get those inner thighs. Relax the neck. Try not to tense up your legs while you do this. It's really easy to just like tense them right here. But the more you relax them, the deeper you'll get in that stretch. And then you'll find that you can walk out your feet a little bit more. Go ahead, walk the hands up a little bit. Heel to the back. Ooh, slowly roll it up. Four, three, two, one. All right, roll the shoulders. Almost done, guys. Let's cast those hands back. Pull down, drop your neck over to the right. And then move your neck back and forth. Find that sweet, terrible spot. And then breathe into it. Let's bring it back to center, other side. Sweet, terrible spot. Go ahead, bring it back to center, shake it out. All right, guys. Ah, last one, clasp the hands in front. Pull the shoulders in. Big inhale up. And exhale, woo! We are done for today! We did it! You guys did it, we completed our crazy awesome dumbbell hit for the day! So thank you so much guys for joining me. Please do like this video before you go. Thank you. And also pet the kitty over at the side. Uh, to subscribe for more awesome workouts with me every Monday, as long as I don't get injured, uh, we are working out together. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and my Facebook page. Sometimes I post like healthy recipes or what I'm eating or random selfie if you feel like seeing a selfie of myself. Selfie of myself. I will see you guys soon. Thank you. Roar.